How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a kill and death counter like you see on the screen right now for me. It shows I have one kill and four deaths and every time you get a kill or get a death, it will update it in real time. But it's super easy and simple to do. All it takes is these command blocks behind me to do it. And if this video does help you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So let me show you guys how it works. So I have my alt account right here and as you can see, I have one kill and it says four deaths on the bottom of the screen. So if I kill this alt account like this, it will update the kill counter and say two kills and then on my alt account it will add an extra death as you guys can see i have four deaths currently but if i were to die on this account it will update to five death as you can see on the bottom of the screen but yeah that's how this kill counter works it's really simple and easy to do but yeah let me show you guys how to make it so the first thing you want to do is you want to change your game rule so your command blocks don't spam your feed so to do that just do slash game rule send command feedback false and then also do slash game rule command block output false as well and you won't get any spam in your chat what we're going to do now is add our objectives so to do that do slash scoreboard objectives add and then put kills dummy all lowercase and hit enter and then it'll make that objective since i already have it it already says an objective with the name kills already exists and then you want to make another scoreboard objectives add and you want to do one for deaths and then do dummy as well and then hit enter and then you also want to do a third one scoreboard objectives add a live dummy and hit enter to double check if you have those three objectives just do slash scoreboard objectives remove and on the left side of the screen you should see it say alive deaths and kills now that we have all the objectives you're going to want to add a ticking area so do slash ticking area add circle tilde 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 one kills just like that and then hit enter but for me i already have a ticking area with the name so that's why it says it already exists now we're going on to the command blocks and it looks uh complicated but it's actually really easy but to give yourself a command block do slash give your name command underscore block and hit enter and you'll receive one and with your command blocks you want to make sure that they are all facing the same direction this is a part that a lot of people get wrong if you don't have these arrows facing the same way in the command block it will not work some people place blocks like this and there might be one in the middle that's messed up like this so just a reminder that you guys all need to have your command blocks the same direction anyways this first command block is gonna be a repeat unconditional always active and the command input is slash scoreboard players set at a bracket scores equals wavy bracket alive equals exclamation mark two end wavy bracket and bracket alive zero and also all these commands are going to be in the description down below so you can just copy and paste them and this is pretty much setting your score to zero if you're alive this second command block is going to be a chain unconditional always active and it's slash scoreboard players set at e bracket type equals player and bracket alive one the third command block is a chain unconditional always active and this is slash execute at at a bracket scores equals wavy bracket alive equals zero and wavy bracket and bracket run scoreboard players add at p brackets r equals five comma rm equals 0 0.1 and bracket kills one Oh, and also I like to turn previous output on so you can tell if it's working or not. So this fourth command block is going to need a comparator and another command block next to it. But this fourth command is a chain unconditional needs redstone and it's slash execute at at a bracket scores equals wavy bracket alive equals zero and wavy bracket and bracket run scoreboard players add at p bracket r equals 120 comma has item equals wavy bracket location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand comma item equals bow and wavy bracket and bracket kills one and then next to it you're going to want to put a redstone comparator make sure that's facing the same direction that this is so you'll place it like that and then also make sure your command block is facing into the redstone comparator so the arrow is pointing towards it and then this command block right here next to it is going to be a repeat unconditional always active and it's slash execute at at a bracket scores equals wavy bracket alive equals zero end wavy bracket end bracket run scoreboard players add at p bracket r equals 120 comma has item equals wavy bracket location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand comma item equals bow and wavy bracket and bracket kills one pretty much what this fourth command block is doing is allowing people to kill with bows from a radius of 120 because that's how far bows can shoot so that's why we have this fourth command block right here then this next command block in line is a chain unconditional always active and it's slash scoreboard players add at a bracket scores equals 
wavy bracket alive equals zero end wavy bracket and bracket deaths one and this is pretty much saying if the player is not alive then it will give them one death on the scoreboard and this last command block is a chain unconditional always active and it's slash scoreboard players set at a bracket scores equals wavy bracket alive equals zero end wavy bracket and bracket alive two and pretty much this fourth command block is saying that if you die it will add two points to the alive scoreboard which is not shown below and when you get two points it will bring you back to this first command block and rerun all the commands this command block has the longest command input of the video but it's a repeat unconditional always active and it's this command i'm not going to say it for you because it's very long but I will have this down in the description below so you can copy and paste it or you can just take a screenshot and also type it in yourself. But this is pretty much giving you the action bar you see above my inventory. So it says my name, the kills, and the death. And if you wanted to change the colors of the kill board, just go into the command block. And if you click on it, you will see this sauce symbol. You will see this sauce symbol right here. It looks like an SOS symbol, but I call it a sauce symbol. This is what's giving the color to the board. So I could change the kill board to be blue and I could change the death board to be purple if I wanted to and I could change the color of my name to be yellow if I really wanted to and when I back out of this you can see that it will change on the bottom of the screen the second command block is a repeat unconditional always active and I have the delay and ticks for 120 but it's slash scoreboard players add at a death zero meaning that all players will start with the death counter of zero and this last command block is a repeat unconditional always active and the delay in text is 120 as well and it's slash scoreboard players add at a kill zero which means if you're new to the server you will start with zero deaths and zero kills but yeah once you have all the commands you should be able to just kill someone like this and it'll add a kill or a death to your counter but yeah if this video did help you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any problems just leave them down in the comments below but before you go youtube is actually recommending this video for my youtube page so you guys should definitely go check out that video but yeah anyways my name is gabe i'll see you guys all later and i'm out peace